Sorry, I dropped. Sorry, I fell. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Pat from Flippy Nuts. Today we've got an objective. We want to see how many welding rods, of welding rods, we can actually put into a torch and actually get a physical weld. Zaren is here to help out. We've prepared a couple of work pieces. We're going to go through them as we go along. I don't know, bud, what do you think? How about four, five, five rods? Nah, no, I don't think it's going to be enough. It's going to draw quite a bit of amps, eh? No, it's still not enough. No, still not enough. Oh, for fuck's sake, why don't we just do the whole kit again? That sounds more like a plan. Yeah. Is that gonna, is that gonna satisfy your needs today? Uh, yeah, it should. Okay, guys, as you can see, the electrode into this rod is way too thick to put in a torch, so we're gonna have to put something in there. We're going to use a standard 6mm bolt and we're going to tie up the ends just with a standard hose clamp. We're putting in two, two, two clamps. Once we start welding, we're going to get heat. If we don't hold the rods together at the bottom, they're going to splay out. We're not going to get a cohesive weld. We hope we're going to get a weld. Fingers. My fingers. Right, guys. If you have a look at this, if we clamp the rod onto that now, we're not going to get conductivity right around there. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to just spot weld all these rods together and onto the main electrode. Sorry, I dropped. Sorry, but I fell. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. It's all welded up. So now we're going to prepare a workpiece or two. And uh, let's see what this big fat welding rod can do. Okay, so here we go. First up, we've got a piece of standard channel line. We're just going to arc this rod and see if it will actually strike an arc or not. We've set the welder up to 500 amps. Uh, personally, I don't think it's going to do it. But we'll try. If it does arc, we feed out two plates and we want to have a look. Will it actually, will it actually make fusion there? Will it actually do a weld? Then the third thing will be the most important one is we've got two plates and we're going to clamp that on a copper plate 10 mil at least 10 mil apart let's see if we can get enough heat to fuse to the parent metal and to cause a pull on the bottom of the non ferrous metal let's see if we can get a weld that way here we go Oh, it arcs a rod. Can you believe that, eh? Yes. A, a full kilogram of welding rods. Well, let's go to, let's go to the, the second one. Guys, this is a standard two pieces of plate. All we've done is we've tacked them at the ends to hold them together. We're going to try and do a weld in the middle of this. Once the weld is done, we'll cut the plates in half, polish them up, See what the penetration is, and we'll try and etch it for you. Thank you, Zoran. Yes!
So we've got a weld. But I think we might have just overloaded the breaker ever so slightly. <laughs> so we're going to give that five minutes to cool down. And we'll get back to you. Okay, guys. It wasn't the machine that actually tripped out. It was the main, break, the main circuit brake that tripped out. What we've done now is we've jacked into another socket. Uh, we've gone up from 20 to 32 amps. Unfortunately, we can't go any higher than that because we're going to damage the, the, the infrastructure, the cabling. So, but so far so good. We should we should actually have something. What we're going to do now is we're just going to clean up the world that Zion has made. Let's just see how we are. And we've got a little bit of a gap left there. And I think we must just try it at a higher amplitude and just see if we can close that gap. Give it a shot. It's actually changed the angle of the welding rods. Um, it seems to be filling quite nice, so we're just going to let that cool down. But if you look at that, it's a major amount of material, and it's it's really not a badly a badly executed weld. Copper plate. Copper plate is there because it's a non-ferrous metal and we're making a gap. So we want the material actually to cool at the bottom and not to amalgamate. Right, we set up for the filler weld. We've got the copper plate in the bottom. We've got it clamped up. We've got a 10 mil gap. For our American friends, that's three eighths in a bit. Let's see if it'll fall, make a pool. It's always yours, sir. Right, so we've got everything cooled off, we're going to chip them, we're going to bisect them, polish them up you guys. Just bear in mind, this is the first time we've done this, we wanted to see what happened. So it's not a perfect weld. Um, if it does work, we'll get better. Maybe if we had Tony Sparks here, it would have been right the first time. <laughs> If you come in close, you see this is the one that we beat. Now we didn't actually get a very good weld. <laughs> this acid's a bit strong. It did actually take to the bedding material on the top. But I think with the amount of flux that we had on the rods, caused the flux to flow underneath and on top of the material. I'm going to drop a bit of acid on there, just to see if we get some kind of an edge, which I doubt. And let's see if we can get some Better idea, but there's definitely an amalgamation. If you have a look there, 
can actually see the itchy shirt starting to show. You see that? It did actually take. But I think the amount of flux that we had on the rods, what we can maybe try to do in the future is to take the inside rods, take all the flux off of that and just leave flux on the outside rods. That might give us a much better result. Although it's done better than what I expected. Yeah, me too. I honestly, honestly didn't think it was going to... Look at that. Well, let's try the next one. Let's grind it down and see what it does. This world is a complete bust. <laughs> it was really a complete bust. If you look up close, it made a bead, but there was, wasn't enough heat to cause any fusion on the bearing metals. I don't even know what's holding this together. I think if you tap it with a hammer, it'll probably break off. Once again, I still think we take all the flux of the inside rods, we bind them together, the flux on the outside, we might be onto something. Yeah. So there you are guys. If you want to see some more of this, or if you've got any comments, or if you've got any ideas, please like, share and subscribe to Flippin' Nuts. It's a <laughs> Why don't you take a little hammer and give it a tap? Just a tap. Just a tap. <laughs> Fuck me. I made a hole in it. <laughs> tap it again. <laughs> well, I tell you this much. <laughs> You're the only guy in the world I've ever seen weld a slot into a piece of metal. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.